You have been writing about this uh, frontline documentary, and we've talked about this issue before mm-hmm. when you've been in the pro- in the studio with us. Uh, th- uh, this League of Denial, it's called. Uh, learn, it, learn anything new from it about uh, the whole problem with head injuries and. Um, I'm not sure, you know, for for the people who, who have been following this, I'm not sure that in the documentary there was a ton new. It was kind of shocking to see it all in one place. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think in terms of, you know, what I, what I hadn't realized, I guess, was the depth uh, to which the NFL went to war against the doctors. Um, that had never been... I mean, it's been detailed, but never so powerfully as it was in, in the video. So the doctors were saying, the we got a real problem here, right, and the NFL uh, was just saying, shut up. Right. There was this one doctor, Bennett Amalu, who is a uh, Nigerian-born, wasn't a football fan, super educated guy, and was working outside Pittsburgh in Allegheny County. And um, he, he got the body of Mike Webster, the Pittsburgh Hall of Fame offensive lineman, and for whatever reason decided to examine his brain. And found this chronic traumatic encephalopathy and uh and then said you know you have a problem and he and he wrote a paper and then he got another player and he looked at it and the nfl basically just went just destroyed his career he ended up leaving pittsburgh for northern california a small town in northern california um and he even says in the in the film i wish i had never come across mike webster because CTE drug him into politics of football, of brain injury, of science. And, you know, he, and then later, he, when Junior Seau kills himself, he was in Northern California. He tried to get the brain. He got consent from Junior Seau's son. And the NFL called Junior Seau's son and trashed him. Whoa. And kept him from getting the brain. Whoa. Wow. And so, like, this guy, this guy who's not a football fan, oh, man. just wants to do, like, <laughs> scientific research. Was basically drug through the mud. So this deal that they signed, um, the settlement. Yeah, I don't know. I, you know, it's it's hard. I think the there's a lot of indications right now that that the settlement won't be sufficient for the players. Um, that's hard to tell. You know, I think we'll find that out going forward. I think again that one of the most painful things about the settlement is that we're not going to find out uh, what they knew and when they knew it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's hard, I, you know. I've written and it was criticized at the time, which wasn't that long ago, by a right. lot of people for that reason. That it kind of lets the NFL off the hook for relatively little money. Right. Yeah. I mean, it it seven hundred and sixty five million is is not a ton in over, terms of what is it? What was it over seventeen years? Something. Or something like, like I think. That? I think so. I, yeah. The exact time frame. They have to pay out half of it in the next three. But right. After yeah. That, I'm not, that I think after that they have seventeen more years yeah. to pay out the the other half. Yeah. And you know it's it, it's it's hard because if if the players get assistance that they need, then that's a good thing. If it's not enough, that's a bad thing. And if if they're not getting enough, and we're not finding out what the NFL knew, when it knew it, how far it went to cover it up, mm-hmm. well, then you're in just total tragedy. 